Hello to all my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi and welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join my lovely family. So today, as I was getting ready for my day, I asked the Lord in prayer what he wanted me to speak about for the video because honestly I had no idea of what I was going to talk about. Doing these type of videos was never my intention but because I got a positive feedback um, from all my beautiful people regarding the last video um, and a lot of you told me to do um, more videos similar to the previous one, I decided to give it a shot. And uh, as I was praying, the Lord gave me a bunch of scriptures. And uh, I realized that all the scriptures, they were connected to each other. And all the scriptures summed up to one thing. And that one thing was, obey the Lord. Ask for God's counsel so today we're gonna talk about that and let's have a conversation that's you know heart to heart because whatever i'm gonna say whatever i'm gonna speak i'm gonna speak from my heart um whatever has been going on you know my experiences um regarding this topic what I truly feel regarding this topic I am gonna be as sincere as I can I am gonna be as truthful as I can so firstly I'm gonna ask you what do you do when trouble comes who do you turn to and if we think about this question and if we look at today's world, what we're going to see is people, when they're in trouble, when they're facing difficulties in life, they tend to turn to bottles, they turn to pills, they get into depression, they turn to fear, <clears throat> they get anxiety, worry, anger, and all sorts of things. And when we turn to these things, does it make us feel any better? Does it make us, you know, think that everything is fine? Does it make us feel like you know, it's getting better. Do you see any progress when you turn to these things? I am going to say no. And I'm sure you are as well going to agree with me because it's not the solution. And I think all of us, we know that it's not the solution. Because if you turn to all these things, you know that your life is not going to get any better. You might feel like you are doing fine at, you know, for a very brief moment. But what when reality hits you back? What are you going to do after that? You are going to be in that same thing all over again. In fact, you're going to get even more miserable. You're going to get even thinking, what am I doing? Why am I in this place? And thoughts of, you know, suicide, thoughts of, you know, ruining yourself and all sorts of these things. The answer to this question is Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2, where the psalmist says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? And in verse 2, the psalmist says, My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. That is the answer to the question. Your first tour should be Jesus. 
your first door should be prayer. You kneel down, you pray as hard as you can for God to deliver you, for God to help you out. Because when he is first in your life, he will bless you in ways that will astound you and the entire world. You won't even believe and you cannot even imagine what God can actually do because you cannot understand God. Our mind is very, very small and we just cannot understand God. So he can help us in ways we cannot even understand, we cannot even think of. It the Lord when you stop long enough to say that, Lord, I need your guidance. He said that he's a shepherd in Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord loves it when you ask him to guide you, to lead you, because this is what the shepherd does. The shepherd takes care of his sheep. He leads his sheep. He guides his sheep. And you are a chosen one. You are a child of God. Don't tell God to take care of small things or big things and you are going to take care of the rest. Oh no, you don't do that. You tell God to take care of the entire life. Whatever is in your life, whatever is going on around you, whatever, whatever it is, you tell God take control of everything. Be it small or big, doesn't matter because everything about you is a big deal to God because you are his child you are his chosen one so even a tiny detail about yourself you might think that it is not important but in the eyes of God it is important because he has created you he has made you the way you are you are so precious to him you are loved by him like no other all that he thinks is about you. You are all the time on his mind. He being a father and you being his child, you being his son, you being his daughter, he is going to do whatever he can for you. When you make important decisions in your life, you cannot afford to use your intellect alone. You just cannot do that because... We are supposed to be guided by the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to seek the counsel of God no matter what. You have to learn to ask God before you do anything in your life. And then you just expect and hope that God is going to have your back and he will definitely have your back because you are asking him to take control of your situation. You are asking him to lead you, to guide you. You are asking him to make decisions for you. You are asking him to make a path for you. You are asking him to make a way for you. Whatever decisions you take, may it be seeking for a life partner, may it be seeking for a job opportunity, maybe pursuing a career, anything it may be. Speak to God about it. Bring it before God in prayer. Tell God about it. Ask for his counsel. Let him take control over your life. Let him take the decisions for you. Let him guide you. Let him lead you. You know, it may sound very silly, but I'm amazed to see how many decisions I've made without asking for God's counsel and how many times I've lost, how many times I've failed and then turned to God and asked him, why didn't you help me? Why did you let me fail? You know, the thing is, God is a gentleman. He doesn't force himself on us. That is the reason he gives us a choice. He gives us a choice and he respects the choice that we do. But even when we make a choice, we need to ask for God's counsel. We need to ask God to help us to make a choice. 
you know, we, being humans, we have this, we have this mindset where we think we know everything. We think we know what we're doing. We think that whatever we do is always right, but it's not. We actually don't. There, there are certain things which we've learned from experience, but there are certain things that we don't know, that we just cannot do. Most of the decisions that we take are purely based on our feelings and on our emotions. The decisions that we take are based on our current circumstance, on our current situation. Um, the Lord says, you need to wait on me. The Lord says, I need you. He waits on us so that we wait on him. And uh, Psalm 27, 14, it says, wait for the Lord, take courage, be strong, wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord to take action. You know, a lot of time, a lot of times we think that God is silent. A lot of times, you know, especially when we're in trouble and we cannot see anything happening. We always tend to question God. Where are you? Why aren't you doing anything? Why isn't anything happening? Why aren't you, you know, doing a miracle in my life? I am doing so much. I am praying so hard, but I cannot see any improvement. I cannot see God working. Let me tell you one thing. God never stops working in us. His work in us, on us and around us is always on. He is working in us and on us all the time. It's just that we cannot see because we are burdened with our problems, our fears, our anxiety, our depression. That is the reason we cannot see God work. That is the reason we cannot comprehend what God is doing. That is the reason we cannot see God guiding us, God leading us. Because we are so blinded with everything that is going on in our lives and everything that's going on around us that we fail to focus on God. We fail to believe and to know that no matter what, God is always going to be there with us. If you see his counsel, God's always got a solution. He's always got a procedure. He's always got an answer. There's always an unseen hand, you know, that's waiting to guide us, to help us, to lead us. When you stop for a second and say to the Lord, here I am, Lord, give me your wisdom and wait on him. The amount of blessings you are going to step into is going to be unbelievable. There is always a bigger picture to every trial, every adversity, every challenge you are going through. If you want to live a victorious life, you need to constantly ask God to open your eyes to the best, to see the best, to see the goodness, to see the, to see the bigness of his plan, and his purpose for our lives. Just like Romans 8.28 says, All things work together for good for those who love God and for all those who are called according to his purpose. Always try to look at a bigger picture rather than focusing on the outcome of the temporary situation in the present moment. Try to change your perspective try to change the way you speak try to try to change the way you look at things try to change the way you 
behave or react when things happen. I mean, if you try to be positive enough, trust me, everything is going to be fine. Eventually, everything is fine. And when you give everything in the hands of the Lord, when you let God take control over your life, you know that wherever you are going, you know for sure, 100% sure that you are going to end up in a place where he wants you to be. All the goodness that flows from him is going to be yours if you let God take control of your life. I mean, I'm not saying that your life is going to be a bed of roses. I'm not saying that your life is going to be a smooth road. No, it's not. I am not saying that. But what I'm saying is, no matter how hard your life gets, you know that you will make it through because God is with you. You have made it through until now. You are still alive. I mean, all of us go through different things in our lives. We have faced tragic situations. We have faced a lot of negativity in our lives. We have faced a lot of problems, a lot of afflictions, a lot of trials in our lives. But the only reason we are still alive, we are able to breathe, is because God is with us. Is because God has helped us get through no matter what. And where you are right now, the place where you are positioned in right now, is where you are meant to be. It is because God wants you to be there so that he can take you forward. He can take you to a better place. He can take you to where he wants you to be. So in the future, always remember. And even I'm going to remember because whatever I'm saying is my experience that's true but it's again a reminder for me as well because again i forget things i don't remember everything that you know because it's it's our weakness as as human beings we we tend to most of the time forget all the good things that god has done for us because that's just our nature but let us try, let us strive, you know, to get God's and see God's perspective. Let us try to look at things in God's perspective. Because if we try to see our life, if we try to see everything, if we try to see everyone in God's perspective, you can imagine how beautiful your life is actually going to be. Because life with God is very beautiful. Life with God is full of excitement. Life with God is full of adventure. Life with God is full of experiences because there is so much to learn. There is so much more to see. There is so much more to experience. God cannot wait to work in our lives. God cannot wait to work miracles and wonders in our lives. God cannot wait to use you and me to work wonders in everybody's life. God is just waiting for that one word from us. Lord, here I am. Do as you please with me. Here I am your servant. Do whatever you wish with me. I am all yours. For once, let God take control of our lives. Let us give all that control to God and see how your life turns. And finally, I want you all to know that you are brave, you are strong, you are more than a conqueror because the line of Judah is inside you. He lives within you. He is outside of you. He's ahead of you. He's at the back of you. He's got you. So no matter what happens, do not be afraid of anything. Just let God take control and let him do what he has to do.
Do not worry about anything. So if you have any questions or you want to talk about this topic more, then please comment below. Or if you want to talk about it privately, then please feel free to message me on my Instagram and Facebook. The links are down below in the description box. And do not forget to smash that like button so that I know that you guys like what I'm sharing with you. And uh, let me know what you want me to talk about because I love to talk about God's authentic love, his beauty and his amazing works that he does in our lives and he does for everyone. God bless you all and I'll see you in our next video. Peace out.